found them online. I was looking up treatment facilities that specialized in dual diagnosis, and it came up. I started drinking. I had been sober and clean for about six months. I mean, six years, I'm sorry. And um, I was feeling suicidal. So that's why I wanted to get treated for my depression and for my alcohol uh, use. It was the first one that came up, honestly. And um, they told me, when I read in the website was that they have facilities all over the country. So I was hoping they had one near me. But I was provided with a ticket here. I really didn't know what to expect. Um, I would had some friends that I knew from uh, being in recovery previously that were in the industry and I had kind of an idea of what kind of stuff goes on. Um, but nobody asked me to clean a toilet with a toothbrush or anything like that. It wasn't any marine kind of stuff. And uh, I was surprised by the houses that they um, have a staying in. Um, they're very nice. You, you can get very comfortable in them very easily. I've seen quite a few of them. I've seen like six of them so far, so they're very nice. My first therapist, Jennifer, was very good. We made a lot of headway. We were able to make um, quite a few strides, and she pointed out a few things for me to look at that I quite hadn't thought of that way. But Jennifer had to leave, and then I got um, another therapist. And now I'm with a young lady named Esther, and Esther's very good. So far, um, I think we've been effect we've had an effective relationship, but we've only had uh, one session. But I'm very hopeful for that too. A lot of the groups have good information. I hold on to all the handouts. This is a rehab, and uh, I guess it's California living. But, uh, you know, sometimes you get guys coming in and out of, of the room, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I try to stay uh, focused and uh, with the handouts, I can get the information outside the group if I didn't get it while I was in the group. So the handouts have been very, very uh, beneficial. Maybe a couple. I like uh, the intimacy group we have. A lot of valuable information gets passed on there. The mindfulness class gives me a lot to think about. I mean, it's it's a little hard to con conceive at first, but um, it has been able to help me like concentrate a little better. I also like uh, men's processing. I think I get a lot out of that too. I enjoy the the uh, being able to run through your feelings and not just talk about your feelings, but how to deal with them. I think most of us are here because of our feelings. Mm -hmm. So that's probably one of the most important groups here. A typical day starts off with uh, everybody gathering uh, at the house and uh, all loading up in the van. The commute that we used to have is a lot shorter now because they've moved us to the house. It's closer, so um, that's become a lot more uh, convenient. It's about a 15 minute out, 15 minute ride as opposed to an hour ride before. Once we get here, um, they have uh, snacks and cereal and that kind of stuff waiting for us. So we can, if we don't get a chance to get at the house, we can grab something real quick here. Um, we go to our first group, and depending on how many we have that day, or if we have any outings planned, because sometimes we do beach meditation on some days, that's where we start our day off at. Um, some days, some guys go to the gym, and they start their day off there. But I like to, I like, like it when we do the beach meditation on a lot of groups because we go to a couple of groups and we go to lunch and we get a couple more groups and um, that's what I'm really here for. I'm really here not for the fancy houses, not for uh, Southern California living. I'm here for the groups and it's good that they have them as many as they do. You know what I'm saying? I'm, that That's a good thing. But we're also encouraged to, um, after we leave the facility, to uh, Make at least four meetings a week. Now we're staying until three, so it makes it a little easier. You know, they, they wanted us on a five o'clock schedule. It was kind of tough trying to squeeze in dinner and make a meeting and 
possibly do step work if you at this point, you know, they expect us to have a sponsor, you know what I'm saying, to do that kind of stuff, or even hang out with your sponsor afterwards, you know, it makes it kind of tough. Uh, so I'm glad that they're going back to 3 o'clock. And uh, usually after after we leave here, make a meeting, you know, get something to eat. Um, in our house, one of the things I like about our house is we all eat dinner together. And um, still, you know, usually make it to bed by like 10. So just get back up to the next day about 6.30 or 7, start the day all over again. Staff. I mean, I don't get along with everybody, and uh, there are some dedicated um, staff members, and some of them will try everything to try to get you situated, to get you treated fairly, to uh, keep you in the program. They are trying to open up new sober living facilities, and a lot of people here and here need that. You know I'm saying they, they're really looking forward to going there, and it's something new. And like I said, the staff are really, you know. I really, really appreciate the effort they make to try to make your stay here as smooth as possible. What I really hoped to be able to do when I came here was um, get back in touch with all the principals that I had um, in the beginning when I first became clean and uh, I believe in a conscious contact with a guy of my understanding and I thought I lost that contact and I, I'm hoping that when I leave here I'll be more regular with my prayers, I'll be reading more spiritual literature again, I'll be making regular meetings, and uh, that connection will be made again. If you're going to come to Sovereign, you really need to make sure that you want to stay clean. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said before, there's a lot of challenges here, um, a lot of them that I didn't expect. If you're not serious about it, I don't care where you go, it's not going to work. But you definitely need to be serious about it if you're going to come here. I think that's any facility would say the same thing, but uh, definitely here. Because uh, things are kind of wide open here in California. You know what I'm saying? Like laid back and and, and you just you, you need to be serious when you come. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty of distractions available if that's what you're looking for. And you need to really concentrate on yourself, getting better doing what you need to do to stay clean. Setting up a discharge plan is very important. My uh, case manager has had me making the phone calls and calling Facebook and, and, and setting up my appointments and, and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? So like, you, you kind of need to be prepared for that kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? When you get here, expect that you're the one that's going to be doing the most for your recovery, which I guess is the way it should be, you know what I'm saying? But you definitely have to be in that mindset that this is what I'm going to do. And no matter what, I'm going to make sure I do it.